course, in addition to doing uh, storytelling, we also do music. Uh, Jesse and Jim and myself and my sister Marge were the Dawnland singers. Mm -hmm. Right. And we started about 20 years ago mm -hmm. performing together. And now yeah. because Marge is actually the new head of the Native Studies Department at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Oh, really? Oh. Mm -hmm. Rather far away. We don't yes. perform together very often. So she's, she's moved then? She's moved That's, actually that from Massachusetts and Connecticut yeah. down to yeah. Pennsylvania. But yeah. I thought maybe you might like to hear some music. Yes. And uh, I'll pass the flute over to Jesse because even though I played flute before he did, he got much better than me very fast. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Mm -hmm. And the name of that, or the that was uh, just something that I made up just for today. It's improvised, and usually the flute is used uh, that way. They call parlando style, which is to just play from the heart. They say to breathe in inspiration and uh, to breathe it out in song. And to breathe in inspiration and to breathe it out in song. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a poet so in itself. The way to play the Native American flute, although there's lot, there are lots of ways to play an instrument, and, and I do often do melodies. I have some CDs that I've done where I play melodies, some modern melodies even, um, as well as uh, some that I've just made up. But the most common way when I'm performing or just using the flute to let people really hear how it would have been played long ago is to just play from the heart. Mm -hmm. and just is let it the flute cedar? Is it made out of this cedar? This is uh, red cedar. Red cedar. Yeah, this is made out of red cedar, which is the most common, although many different types of wood can be used. Red cedar is the most common for Native American flute. <laughs> 